Hi guys! Welcome back to Trendy Mommy! In this video, we're going to show you how to recreate this welcoming fall Thanksgiving wreath. For this DIY, we're going to need fake flowers, leaves and pine cones, twine, styrofoam ring, hot glue, and gun. To start, place a plastic bag or a sheet under the glue gun to prevent the hot glue from dripping on your table. Now, take the twine and place it on the back of the styrofoam ring, then fix it with hot glue. Start wrapping around and covering three quarters of the styrofoam ring. Make sure to wrap it evenly to prevent the white of the styrofoam from peeking out. Now that three quarters of the ring is covered, Cut a loose end to create a hoop for you to hang the wreath on your front door. Depending on the size of your front door, you can make the hoop as large or small as you need. Now, it's time to be creative! Here are a few tips to create a balanced and beautiful wreath. Tip number one, colors. Pay attention to the color composition by spreading the tones evenly. You don't want to place all of the green pieces on one side and the oranges on the other side. Instead, choose which color is going to be the dominant one and work around that. We chose the orange Gerbera daisies and the dark twigs as accent tones. The rest of the colors, like the yellow leaves, the green ones, and the red berries, will work around these two main elements. Wrap the twine loosely on the remaining part of the ring, so you can cross the leaves underneath. Tip number two, volume. If you pick a big leaf and place it up front, you want something smaller to be placed over it to unify it within the composition. Or if you have a long leaf on the left side, you'll want another on the right or in the middle to balance it out. Tip number three, direction. This is essential to make your wreath look full and rich. If a twig is placed diagonally to the left, you'll want to balance it out by placing another twig of the same size in the opposite direction. For example, if you place the flower on the left, 
you'll want to balance it out by placing another one on the right, and perhaps in the middle. You can play around with these tips to fit your creation. Once you're happy with the composition, glue the pieces together. And voila, this is our fall Thanksgiving wreath. If you're interested in these cute lantern leaves, check out the link in the description below to get the full instructions. We hope you find this video helpful. Leave a comment to let us know. As always, like and subscribe for more videos from us. Thanks for watching. Bye!